It's Lisa. It's today's Variety 101.9 The Mix. I'm hanging out with Maria and Larry from Musically Fed. Thank you guys for coming by to see us again this year. Our pleasure. Absolutely. So, so much has happened. We'll take it back to where we, we met prior to last year, Lollapalooza. We were talking a little bit about all the good that you guys do. So maybe you can give us like the quick recap of what it is Musically Fed is all about. So we repurpose unused catering from back. I'm put that from right back, there. we reuse unused catering from backstage, at tours, concerts, events, and festivals. Thus, we're here at Lollapalooza. Yep, the biggest one. I mean, there are so many artists that are being supportive of your work, which I think is so cool. And it's just one of those things that when you hear us talking about Lollapalooza, you don't really hear a lot about all of the the back end things that are happening that are actually really good for the community. They really are. Like, for instance, we're working with Noah Kahan oh, and Maggie Rogers, yes. and they do. They are so about it, about doing good for the community, about sustainability. In yes. fact, <laughs> I'm emailing with one of the people on Kahan's tour because I fly back to get They're going to be in Phoenix the day oh. that I land. Oh, okay. Talking about, can we get essentials for people? Can the fans do a drive? And he, what I love about some of the artists they're working with fan oriented yes it's about how much they matter how much they want to educate them etc we're really lucky and bring them on board to do some good i mean they're i feel like they're helping get the word out it's not yeah. just you guys you know sending out mailers the, the artists are behind this now the radio you know media are getting behind it i think it's just so awesome so tell me about we're on day three right now of Lollapalooza. how many people do you think have gotten some meals out of this whole thing so far well uh, we're approaching about 2,000 meals Come on. at this point. Amazing. Because we've been on site for since the beginning of the week and even before when they're well, building the city. That, yeah. 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 So we do a little bit before the main build and then during this week, we're here all week. To repurpose this food to people in need because the need is another one of those things. I, I think we're just not maybe talking about it as much or maybe is there mm. a thing about it, you know, that no one's... I don't know why it's so easily ignored, but it is such a big deal. There's so many people in need of food. You've right. seen and a lot this week. Yes, we've seen a lot this week. The awareness has grown, and we will stop at one entity, and we're dropping off food, and they're like, you know what? There's another entity down the street that could really use some more food, and, wow. we, and they're asking where we're going next, and we're like, we're going out to Franciscan Outreach, and they're like, that's excellent. God Amazing. bless you. It's Yeah, so yes. that's a community in itself. It is. It really is. We're doing the pavilion. We're working with Live Nation. This is our second season of working awesome. with them, too. Huntington Bank Pavilion at Northerly <laughs> Island, which is so fun to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful, but you know what? Worth it for getting, yeah. <laughs> getting it all out there. Now, I have to tell you, when I first, uh, you guys checked in at the booth a little while ago, you dropped off some of those little bow buns, which, of course, we gobbled up in like 10 seconds. But tell me oh, about good. your relationship with some of these restaurants that are helping you repurpose this food. His name is Kevin Noonan. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin! Um, with C3, and he just uh, he gets it, and he he really believes that the concession people could learn to be sustainable. Yes, and he put us in touch with these folks. And I'll let you talk about because I think you delivered the first mega. Oh yeah, with, with you're talking about the, the Monday, little, or you're talking about the bow buns? No, last year the little elves that came. Oh yeah, night. so we have a cooler. <laughs> They're nice enough to provide a cooler for us in back there so we can store things awesome. and then all of a sudden kevin <laughs> said you might find a little present in there in the morning and it's like the easter bunny came and dropped off stacks and stacks of containers of bao buns nice. which are really like, delicious i don't know if you've had one but oh mine's gone mine's in yeah. my belly right <laughs> now so they, they, i love those <laughs> so, did, so they gave us so many of them and then on monday there's these semis parked out on roosevelt yeah and they he asked kevin encourages the concessionaires and everyone to bring what they're not going to take back these guys had a ton of stuff and i thought you know what we really need to connect with them because it's the perfect box for some of our entities to take it to the homeless on the street totally and it's healthy and so today we bombed in on them got yep. a picture picture with all of them and their staff and got to meet them oh, and nice. thank them and so on nice. and gifted you the box and yep Again, wonderful. people that get it, and it's amazing. They tell two friends, and they tell two friends, and then the next thing you know, we've got other vendors coming up to us. Yeah, it's amazing what people can do when they work together. Yeah. I'm like, look at you guys making it all happen. And you've got something uh, new, exciting, as far as going nationwide. Some yep. news you just hit me with, uh, what, last night, the night before? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so... Um I do work in the industry. Yes. have a lot of tours, not a lot, but a few tours going on. And then we do have these artists that really believe in what we do. And 
Many of us know a gentleman by the name of Bill Silva who I've known, gosh, most of my life in the entertainment industry, and he runs the Hollywood Bowl. Nice. So slowly but surely, we got a call from Tada Catering, who does Coachella, and they do a great job of repurposing, and I, I go to learn more. And so Jeremy called me and said, I just talked to Bill. Can you help me? And I went, what? And he goes, fish. We got fish. And I went, what kind of fish? What, <laughs> like, what are you talking about right now? <laughs> and he goes, Maria. And I went, oh, fish. And I go, what do you need? And he goes, I need food repurposed tonight. And we did it. You're like, and let me scramble and get this day. done. And then he goes, so Willie's having kind of a party. And I'm like kind of a party <laughs> okay so we did the willie nelson birthday bash oh willie and, i like how you're on like first name basis you know, with willie and, nelson all right and repurposed that <laughs> the food to a really neat neat cause called midnight mission oh and so i turned to bill and i said you should really do this he goes yeah i'll think about it segue to we're working on another festival eric clapton's crossroads festival yeah. which oh, yeah. is the end of september i work with him and Amazing. we are we have musically fed being there i love it and so i went into town to do an advanced trip bill goes do you want to come see matchbox 20 and i went only if i can talk to you about music yeah 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 only if we can talk about this no he honestly so we watched and we talked a little bit about it and one thing led to another and we have a partnership with the hollywood bowl incredible we did our first show tears for fear the other night oh yes oh my gosh sidebar not even about musically fed but like my little nephew, he's yeah. ten years old, is so into Tears for Fears right now, nice. and I'm like so proud of him for like digging into old school music. I'm, I don't know, I'm like Tears for Fears been on a lot at my house, so I'm glad that that was your first experience. Awesome. I feel like it's touching my heart in so many it's ways. Really good. <laughs> yeah. So that's going well. Yeah. Other initiatives. I'm just trying. It just seems like it's been a wild year. Well, we did wild. some other big events this year so far since we last talked the to Grammys. you. We did the Grammys. Yeah. Did the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh! Really? So much food. So much work. I know, but think about. I know. I know it's a lot, but think about how many bellies you got to feed doing this. And we did, and that's when. Oh, and then we discovered this really awesome outlet called Native American Connect, and it's the Native Americans okay. that put together condos and housing, amazing facilities for Native American veterans. Oh, nice. Only Native American, and they never have to leave. They just have to be accountable for being drug and alcohol free. Right. So we now take care of them. The Super Bowl was our first time to start it. And once the word got around that that was happening with them, we overwhelmed them. <laughs> all right. Musicallyfed.org. You guys, thank you so much for coming through. And thank, thank you for, you all you do for your thank support. You. What you've done for us this year is unbelievable. We're so, so grateful to the mix. Oh, man. Okay. Group hug. Group hug. <laughs>